Welcome to this Clear Pronunciation 1 video guide for learners. My name's Andrew, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Clear Pronunciation 1. And I'm also going to explain to you what you will learn. OK, when you first sign in, you'll come to this page, where you'll find lots of useful and interesting videos. Let's start by watching the first few seconds of this video where a teacher explains the course. Welcome to Clear Pronunciation. In this program, you're going to learn how to recognize and pronounce the 43 sounds in English. OK, well, that's well worth watching, isn't it? And there are other videos too. Uh, what is a phoneme? What vocab will I need? Which accent should I choose? That reminds me, there are three accent models in clear pronunciation. Australian, British and North American. If you want to change, just come up here, click on settings and choose the one you want. OK, we're going to go back and get started. So I'll click on home um, and we're on the main screen. Um, which shows that there are 25 units in clear pronunciation. And each of them focuses on two individual sounds or phonemes. Look at the screen and you'll see that they're divided into consonants here, p, f, b, m, and so on. Then there are vowels, i, e, e, a, and so on. And finally, there are diphthongs. Uh, diphthong is two vowel sounds together. You'll find them in words like hair, hear, pay, pie. Let's click into unit 14, ship and sheep. There are five activities and we'll look at them one by one. First, we'll meet the sounds. Start by listening to each sound. I. E. Watch how we make the sound. I. Insect. Pin. Ship. I. OK, we can watch from the front um, and we can also watch a cross section from the side. Listen to the words which include the sound. Let's move on to E and we can um, listen to sounds with the, with the target phoneme at the beginning. Each. In the middle. Sheep. Or at the end. Very. Each sheep very. OK, let's practice one of those sounds. Sheep. I can record myself. Sheep. Listen. Sheep. Compare. Sheep. And try again. The more you practice, the better you'll get. So do it again and again until you're satisfied. You've got 20 words here just on this screen. So there's lots to do. Then you're going to move on to exercises where you listen and recognize the sound. I'll click next. OK, before you can say the sound correctly, you need to be able to hear it. So this is really important. Let's listen to the first sentence and listen hard. Do you hear sheep or ship? Look at that beautiful white sheep. OK, I think it was sheep. So we won't do all the other questions. We'll just click on marking. And yes, I'm correct. If I now click on feedback, I can listen to both of the sentences together. Look at that beautiful white sheep. Look at that beautiful white ship. Right, now you're confident you can hear the sounds, that you can recognise them. So the next step is to pronounce them in sentences. Each of the sentences on this screen has the sound in at least three places. Let's try this one. 
The printer ink is in the tin. The printer ink is in the tin. The printer ink is in the tin. So there's lots of practice to do here as well. Um, here's another one with the E sound. These babies are easy to feed. Right, let's move on. The reason that you want to learn good pronunciation, of course, is not to use it um, on a programme like this, but in real life. So the next activity, the one we're looking at now, is called Sounds in Action. The Sounds in Action exercise might be a conversation, a poem, a newspaper article. In this case, it's a movie synopsis. We can listen to it. Jack Dawson wins a trip on the Titanic in a card game. On the ship, he sees Rose DeWitt Bukata. Oh, and we've got a different accent there too. This time it's a New Zealand accent. Now, all of the words with the I or E sounds are highlighted. You can decide whether they're ship words or sheep words, and you can scroll down and check um, further down on the screen. And you can practice repeating them too, using the recorder up here at the top. Okay, and finally, the IPA, the International Phonemic Alphabet. Let's start by downloading the chart. So each of these symbols that you've seen on the main screen um, represents a sound. Um, learn all of these sounds, put them together, and you can pronounce any word in English. So in the final exercise, you are testing yourself on how well you know the IPA. All right, finally, um, do keep track of what you're doing and how you're progressing. I've clicked back to the home screen now. If I click on progress report here, um, I can check what I've done. I can compare my performance against others. I can get a certificate when I've finished and lots more. OK, that's clear pronunciation one. Um, you're going to find it really useful. So work hard and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.